you look at the one year picture, you talk about a five year picture, 10 year and 20 years. Um, and then, or you might even go further out from that. If you're a Japanese com company, you will. They look 100 years out. It's pretty amazing. Um, decide on your sales growth percentage year on year and map it out. So you might say to the team, right, um, as part of our vision, we're going to look at where we are now. It's 2021. We're going to be doing X amount of dollars this year in sales and our profits will, you might say sales, and our net profit will be this, the bottom line. And then you go 2022. So what's a what sort of growth percentage are we going to grow year on year? So year on year um, growth percentage. What's that going to be? Is it going to be 10% year on year? Is it going to be 20%? Um, is it 30%, 40%? What's it going to be? Or is that percentage going to drop over the next 10 years um, as the growth as the company gets bigger and bigger? Uh, what's realistic or what's exciting? I'd say what's exciting is more fun. Um, what's going to get people um, frothing at the mouth, get people jumping <laughs> um, and get people really excited. So people often say, oh, your vision needs to be realistic. Well, yeah, I kind of agree with that, but every company I've worked with and every great world-class company that we we follow as well and, and that we've studied, um, they set some crazy, crazy visions, some crazy big goals, um, things that seem totally out of reach, but with the power of a an amazing team, people coming together and and building something bigger than themselves. It's incredible what they can do together. So so I always say, be audacious, be outrageous, really do something that's super exciting. Map yeah, and map this out as part of your part of goals. It's really important to have these these financial um, pictures for the team as well. Really, really important. Obviously. So create a short, and you might also tie this into the market share plan. You might say oh, over the, you might have a market share column as well. So you can have a bunch of columns across here of things that are important to you. Might be market share, um, or it could be whatever. It could be regions. So you could actually start to map out this whole picture of what your business is going to look like over the next ten years. And of course, it's it's only it's, again it's a forecast. But if you don't do something, um, like I always say, it's like trying to play soccer without a without a goal or play. Uh, rugby without a try line like if, if you haven't got that you've got nothing to aim for you've got no direction and business is meaningless it's like having no scoreboard when you're playing a game so really really important stuff